welcome everyone tonight for this counseling group for teen moms. My name is Tracy and I'll be your group leader. A little about myself, I am a counselor in training at UTSA. And I've done a lot of research and practice on group therapy and really believe with the healing it can have for its members. Um, so we're all here tonight because all of you share the common bond of motherhood. All of you have had a child recently. And you know, having a child at any age can be a big adjustment, but having one as a teenager can bring about a lot different challenges and a lot um, different struggles. And so those are kind of the things we're gonna explore, the struggles, the challenges, and the good things about being a teen mom. Um, so tonight, we're gonna talk a little bit about confidentiality, we'll do a round, and then um, we're just gonna basically work on making connections. So we'll make those connections by um, open and direct, honest communication. Okay, but before we get started, I wanna talk a little bit about confidentiality. Confidentiality basically means that whatever is said in this room will stay in this room. And there are some limits to confidentiality. The first limit is that if you disclose to me that a child or vulnerable adult is being abused or neglected, I will have to alert the proper authorities just to ensure that everybody is safe. The second limit to confidentiality is that if you disclose plans to hurt yourself or someone else, I will have to alert the proper authorities. But in that situation, we'll work together to make sure that you're safe and that you get and the third limit is that since this is a group setting, I can't guarantee, I can only guarantee my confidentiality. I can't guarantee that another member of the group won't say something, um, won't take information outside of the group. But I really hope that we all adhere to confidentiality because it's really the framework and the base of what makes a group successful. And I want this to be a healthy and successful group for all of us. So we're gonna do what is called a round. I'm gonna ask you a question, give you some time to think about it, and, um, then I'll ask for a volunteer and we'll go clockwise. And you know, you always have the right to pass if you feel like you don't, can't think of anything or you need some more time. You can pass and we'll come back around to you. Um, so my question is, I want you to tell me your name, the name of your child, and an adjustment you've, you've noticed in your life since becoming a mother. Okay, so I'll give you some time to think. Uh, do I have a volunteer to go first? Okay. Okay, so uh, my name is Mary Beth. My son's name is Beckham, and uh, the struggle or adjustment that I'm having trouble with um, is just actually just kind of finding time, for, or, or actually more like the responsibility of having a child. So, you know, getting them to daycare and then making sure like they're always having food and, um, you know, making sure I'm still able to do my things, or like, like school and things like that, and then also just even if I want to go do something, like realizing I have to get a babysitter and I have to plan so much more in advance to do anything, even just getting up and going to breakfast or something, I have to plan so far ahead with diapers and food and change of clothes and all that kind of stuff, so it's, it's a little overwhelming. Yes. <laughs> so you're a little stressed by the new responsibilities that come with having a child. You know, you always need to be prepared. As a mother, you always need to be prepared, and so you're having to think about things that you didn't previously have to think of. You know, simple tasks aren't simple tasks anymore because of all the planning and preparation that it takes because you're caring for someone else and not just yourself. Great, thank you for sharing, Mary Beth. We'll go clockwise. Uh, my name is Katie and my son's name is Jack. And I think um, for me, uh, the big adjustment is just the time in general. All of my free time um, goes to my son and there's not really so far right now a lot of time for me to just sit back and relax. Right, so you're struggling with having to, um, having time for yourself, having that me time that we all require as humans. And so you're trying to balance, um, you know, being a mom and it's taking up so much of your time that you're kind of neglecting yourself a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Oh, um, my name is Stephanie and my son's name is Rowan. And um, I think the biggest challenge for me is just um, having a hard time dealing with the sleep deprivation. I am one of those people that needs to get like eight hours of sleep to function and I just be, you know, up during the middle of the night and not getting very much sleep. So I'm just finding it a really hard time to just focus and, you know, sometimes get stuff done or I'm having a hard time as well just, you know, getting to have that me time that um, we so need. Well, it sounds like the lack of sleep is really affecting your life. That's a big adjustment that you've had to make is to get everything done, but on way less sleep. And you know, being up in the middle of the night is kind of wearing on you, and you're just kind of, 
trying to adjust to this new sleeping regimen your body and your mind are trying to adjust to it. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, my name is Jamie, and my son's name is Brayden. Um, the thing that I am dealing with right now is working uh, part-time and going to school, so it's very difficult for me to work, spend time with my son, and try to go on with the work and school stuff. Okay, so you're having to juggle a lot of balls at the same time. You're having, you have a new part-time job and you're raising your child and going to school and you're just trying to find the balance and how to cope with all those things that you have to do every day. Great, well some of the themes that I heard while um, we were sharing was that there's, we're trying to balance these new challenges that have risen over our lives. We're no longer just us, we're us and our sons. I know some of y'all have sons and all of y'all have sons, which is great. Um, so we're trying to balance school and our new role as a mother and we're also a lot of you talked about sleep and how and the lack of me time and so we're trying to raise a child but at the same time not neglect ourselves so that we can be the best mom possible for our children great um i want to ask y'all something who did you connect with did someone tell me that they felt a connection with someone else um i think i kind of connected with katie when she was talking about you know just finding out Oh, sorry, okay. Katie. Um, just when you were talking about having time for you, all your time is focusing on Jack. And I have the same thing with Beckham. I just feel like because I'm focusing and trying to plan everything for him all the time, that I don't even know where any time is for me. So uh, I definitely feel what you're saying. So you connected with Katie and the fact that you both are want this me time because you know you still need to take care of yourself in order to be a positive role model for your sons. And so both of you share that comment on trying to find that time while also still being a good mom. Great. Um, I think I connected with, with Carrie Beth, just um, Carrie Beth and just the aspect of having to plan, you know, everything ahead of time and, you know, not really used to, you know, having to think, okay, well, now I need to pack a diaper bag and I can't leave you for five minutes without getting the bottles. So it's a lot of just So you connect with Mary Beth and the fact that you both are having this new um, you know, responsibility of having to plan not just for yourself when you go somewhere, but for someone else. And you didn't maybe realize a little, little all it takes into taking a child somewhere. And so you're having to get used to um, really thoroughly planning for any event that may arise. Well, great. It sounds like we've done a lot of work and we're going to continue to explore some of these themes as the weeks go on. And that's all for tonight, but I can't wait to see you all next week. Thank you. How long did that one go? Because y'all are on this one.